positive thoughts in this system of things and namaste. So, basically, I want to talk about the importance of releasing hurt from the body. Okay, so, because at the end of the day, you have the power to release any hurt from the body. So, this can be any hurt from your past or those thoughts or feelings or experiences, say, um, no matter how painful, um, will often manifest itself. And <clears throat> this can be physically or emotion emotionally, basically. So, it's like... It's like an infestation, basically, and uh, it can stay with you for many years. So it's really important that you um, release any hurt from the body, basically. Okay, so I wanted to discuss ways of releasing that hurt from the body. Okay, because it's really important. And uh, the body, the subconscious stores that information so hold on to any hurt from your past those experiences those painful experiences that you've been through hold on to it so <clears throat> so basically um you know there's too many that will say well it does not make sense well the thing is it doesn't make sense because Words, thoughts, feelings, emotions, I mentioned earlier in other podcasts, you know, how we need to be careful with our thoughts and our words and our emotions and our feelings, with what we say and how we feel, okay, because, um, you know, our words and our thoughts and our feelings can shape our reality, so... That's how powerful we are. So it's really important what we think and what we feel and how we act. Because, um, you know, our thoughts control our feelings and our feelings control our actions and that controls events. So it's really important that our thoughts are kept positive and we heal from any pain um, and anything, you know, removing any limited beliefs and so forth. But we won't go into that now because I've discussed this already. So I wanted to share this quote, and it's by Louise Hay, and it's, this is the quote, the mental thought patterns that cause the most disease in the body are criticism, anger, resentment, and one of the lowest on the vibrational scale is guilt. So, you are magnificent co-creators. We all are, and you have the power to heal yourself, no matter, no matter what, as 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 well as having the power to make yourself ill. So you've got the power to heal yourself, but you've also got the power to make yourself ill through our thoughts and feelings and our emotions. It starts with our thoughts. So it's important to you know basically to love yourself. Self approval, self acceptance, um, being in the now, basically the present moment, and the main key is to keep those positive thoughts uh, to to make those changes in every, basically every area of your life, because you know studies have shown that trauma uh, can make you more vulnerable to developing you know physical health problems such as say long term or chronic illness uh, that trauma can affect your body as well as your mind with long term impact on your physical basically physical health so you know it's really important so the secret to, to releasing pain and then hurt and even if you have you know to cry or to, to release it or get angry or um, you know do not suppress it, release it, let it go, because healing is a process, and it takes time, it doesn't happen overnight, so no matter what you've been through, or those experiences, it is a process, and you know, you have to go easy on yourself, don't be so hard on yourself, okay, so acceptance is the key to self-love, 
um, to express yourself and uh, you know when others hurt you uh, those that are involved will do this regarding the behavior of others they'll release it and they'll let it go you know so I still love you but you hurt me um, you know and then you know but be assertive uh, get your feelings out tell them how you feel be straightforward don't suppress it so when we look at ourselves we see what caused the sadness or grief or pain and um, you know even disappointment um, what it is you've done you know those feelings that are pent up inside of you so you know many don't cry and I know one time I, I, I couldn't cry I didn't cry and then one day I just burst out into tears um, so it's really important to release it and let it go even being a man um, so men don't cry, but that's not true. Men do cry, you know, just because men don't seem so as much uh, as emotional as women, men do cry. It doesn't make us weaker as a man. It's just that we've got emotions, we've got feelings, we are human. Men are human too. And I remember my partner saying to me once, so, you know, you, sh you should cry and let it out. And I'm spoken to the girl, the other girlfriends, and I said, you should cry and let it out. Well, they're right. Um, so it's really important, you know, you really have to cry. You don't remove any limit. If you say, oh, you cry, baby, or someone said that as a, as a child growing up by your parents, and your babies cry. Look, at the end of the day, if it means you having to cry to release the pain, then do it that way. Or if it means you're getting pent up and angry, you know, do not suppress it. Don't, because that's harmful. Okay? you got to let it out and release it. It's part of the healing process. Um, so, you know, so I brought that up to, you know, I thought I'd bring this up. You know, my experience, I found it hard to cry. So, you know, I could have cried a lake of tears. My experience is what I've been through. People said, like, I've been through hell and back, but, you know, I'm out of it. And that's why I'm here today to help others because with all the experiences I've gone through and the gifts that I've got and everything, I want to now pay that forward and help many other people. And there's so much to share with you and help you with. So, <clears throat> so it's not about going back and thinking about what has hurt you or pained you, but I'd say you know the the importance of any memories or wounds that you have is, is, is basically, you know, you need to release it and heal and you need to do the inner work. But this is part one of this podcast, you know, the importance of releasing hurt from the body and we'll go on to part two. So I'm going to say, yeah, please subscribe, please like, please share. It's really important to get these messages out there because there's so many out there um, that need help and, uh, you know, and I need to share share that with others, okay? So love and light, namaste, speak to you soon, see you in part two, bye for now.